On today's Pro Presenter Show, what is Siphon and what can you do with it? Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the Pro Presenter Show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. So this is one of the things that you may have seen a hundred times in the preferences. There's a little checkbox that says Enable Siphon. But what does that do? Well, let me uh, show you another lesson from my ProPresenter Hacks course, uh, Hacks, Tips, and Tricks. And we'll talk about what Siphon is and something really cool that you can do with it that you might have thought required some external hardware to do with ProPresenter. Sometimes I discover something that I don't know what it is, I've just gone past it before, and then I discover what it's for. So that's the way it is today. So we're going to go into Preferences, and this only works in the Mac version, by the way. Um, and once we're here, we're going to go into display, and you see where it says Enable Siphon? I never knew exactly what that was before, but if you do that, it lets you share the output of ProPresenter with a few other pieces of software that can give you a lot of functionality. So, first off, let me show you this one. This is CamTwist, and so this is a free piece of software that basically you can take a desktop image, you can take a webcam, and you can mix it in uh, some different ways, and it presents itself to the system as a webcam. So if you're live streaming, for example, or if you're recording into QuickTime or something like that, and you need a webcam source, you can select Siphon here, and uh, you would double click on it and then come over here and select the siphon server uh, cam twist itself is siphon as well but uh, we're going to want to select pro presenter 6 and once you do that then you get a little preview of the output now what's really cool here is i've noticed i turned off the output here on pro presenter and yet this still works so if i click over there and then Go back to Cam Twist, God of Glory, God of Love. Melt the sounds of. See, so it changes live. I'd put this on a different output if I was doing this in church, but that's pretty cool. But that's not the only thing. So let me show you another piece of software that also does it, and I think this is actually a little bit more exciting. This is OBS. Um, this is another piece of free open source software. Um, it's the online broadcasting software, I believe is what OBS stands for. But it does a couple of cool things. First off, it can record. That's cool. Here, let me drag this over here so you can see it. So it can record, but it can also um, in code. So what I have here, I have studio mode enabled and I could start recording and just record this or I could start streaming. That's where this gets pretty cool. Like Cam Twist, it has some built-in video switcher capability. I'm in studio mode. If I get out of studio mode, it just shows the one. But let's go back into studio mode. And basically, this allows me to anything I select down here, then it puts it here, and then I can either do a very simple cut or a fade. I would call that a cross dissolve, but whatever. Um, so let's say that I'm in a church and we want to put up Pro Presenter output. So I could do that. I can transition over there. This is our program out. Now let's say that I want the pastor to show up in a picture-in-picture. Uh, -picture. And I've got here, let me move this to where 
you can actually see me. Yeah, come on, let me get a good shot because bad shots annoy me. Um, I've just taken a shower so my hair's wet. I forgot that I was planning on doing this. But then I can, uh, let's say I want to cut that in. So I can just click cut, transition, and that pops right in. I think ideally I would want to probably do this where I transition it more smoothly. But um, that's a pretty cool thing if you have um, kind of a really low budget for live streaming. Uh, you can go into settings here and it's got some presets for some of the things that you're probably already wanting to do like Facebook Live. Um, let's see here. YouTube. Daily Motion. So there's a lot of these that are already set up and you can also you go into here custom streaming server. You can do just regular uh, HLS streaming. So or RT MP streaming. Either one I was blanking on that. Uh, so this is the latest version of OBS, and it, they've actually made it a little bit better. I just upgraded it and found that. So you can do both of those with that fun um, little ability to use Siphon in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you, especially the part about streaming from ProPresenter. So it is possible to do. You're not going to get the best quality ever. It's not going to be the most incredible thing ever. But in a pinch, that might just help you. You can find all my ProPresenter courses at learnpropresenterfast.com. Or if you'd like to just dip your toe in, by all means, head over to Trinity Digital Media dot com slash newsletter and there you can subscribe to my email newsletter and I'll send you a free copy of one of the ProPresenter mini courses that I hand out to people that are interested in this sort of thing. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.